Aquarius, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. You have business questions, you go see him, Aquarius, seriously. His information will be down below. Let's dive right in. Queen of Wands, Chariot, Ace of Cups is your overall energy. So it's feeling like great. It's feeling like a new, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of new opportunities, a lot of heartfelt uh, moments, energies is upon you. And right now, I feel like the universe is asking for you to evolve in a way where you embrace this energy and accept what is being offered to you at this time. It means being your very best self in the very present moment. Not stressing, not worrying about anything that is not irrelevant to what your situation holds. It means if your thoughts are in the past or in the future at all, creating anxiety, let them go. It's all an illusion. All you have to focus on is your energy in the present moment because your present moment is how you create. It's where your power lies. And as long as you are focused Focusing on what it is that is creating strength within you and focusing your energy on what gives you life force back in that very moment, that's what matters most. That's what matters most. Eliminating any degree of expectation or control or past experiences or past thought processes. This will not serve you, my beautiful brothers and sisters at all. And I'll tell you why, because our energy is magnetic in the present moment. It means all of your desires that you want, love, money, communication, happiness, success, all of the good stuff. It is only attracted into our lives if we are concentrating on our love for ourself Thus, Egypt projecting that love for ourselves out to others around us. If we do not love ourselves, then we will focus on the how much we don't love ourselves and our insecurities will come forward. And in the moments where we are being uh, we're around others, then we will project our insecurities outwards. That insecurity and our egos will then create a negative vibration towards that other being and that other being will spread that along. If we change that up and if we prioritize what leaves us feeling passionate, happy, joyous, and loving in this exact moment, making actions that support our spirit within us, making actions and saying words that support us and love ourselves and take care of ourselves and we don't embody self-criticism or judgment we let all that go and instead we come from a perspective of how can i spread the most joy to myself and to others today this is the frequency it will take to attract all the desires you long for to flow in and i can see here that there is many of them i can see here that there is a lot of love and a lot of uh, my money, finances, I mean, all of it. It's all here for you. And the energy that I'm picking up, Aquarius, is that it is going to come in very quickly here. Right now you are building stability in your life and right now the universe is getting you ready to be ready to be ready. So just know that, just embrace that. You're currently not in the exact moment or the exact timing where again, our manifestations don't instantly show up, but what we do have control over, right? Because we don't have control over how and when the universe is gonna align what we want most. All we have control over is our energy. And if we are making sure that our energy is primarily focused on joy and love and passion and coming from a place of love, always, not allowing our circumstances around us to create a reaction within us. If we react, then it meant, again, we emit a negative vibration, a lower vibration, and then that pings that other person or that circumstance and creates a bad energy, and then that negative energy gets spewed out throughout the other energies that are attracted to it, right? So other, so you ping negative energy and then that person pings negative energy, right? So we wanna stop that cycle because we're all brothers and sisters, we're all connected, we're all from the same place, you know what I mean? And so if we prioritize feeling good and feeling happy, whatever that means to you, maybe that's exercising, maybe that's starting a new project, maybe that is um, practicing your spiritual development, maybe that's learning something, right? Maybe that's whatever, maybe it's doing something, but not having anxiety or fear over it, you do it because you 
don't want to do it. You do it coming from a place of love because it's enjoying for you. Enjoy it. It's it's happy times. And if it's not happy and it's not joyous and it's just creating anxiety, stop doing it. You don't need to do anything you don't want to do. And your energy tr- attracts in what you want. So the only reason why any of us don't have what it is that we want is because we've closed off our creativity and our heart chakra, forcing, efforting, and stressing about particular endeavors, feeling like we need to do it to feel validated. You are already validated. You are already loved. You are already enough, Aquarius. Who you are, you are already enough. And it is our insecurities and our fears and our worries that keep us stuck in a time that don't allow us to evolve and grow. And the universe is saying, trust your downloads right now because they are leading you towards the abundance you want. Eliminate fear from your equation. Fear will always be there, but you know what feels so much better? Inspiration, joy, passion, love. That feels good. That feels right. And it's how we feel that matters. It's the only thing that matters is how we feel. And if we live our lives day to day in a fear program, in a in the fear pit, in a negative place, we pass along that vibration. I'll tell you something, Aquarius, you know, at the end of our human experience here, and we, we have our death experience, and we cross over, and we meet our creator, we meet our angels, you know, they're going to show us our life. And we are going to have no ego at that point. All of our programs and filters will be eliminated. And we're going to have, it's really going to be put in to perspective of what would the important thing was. And the more joy and happiness we spread it to, we spread to others and then they spread that joy and love, that's what we will be proud of. Not how much money we had, not about all the things we bought, not about all the friends we made. That won't matter. It will matter about the impact we had. And the impact doesn't need to be so big that you need to stress it and force it and effort it. The impact will come from the light, little tiny gestures you give, you gave. Someone's friend frowning at you. And instead of taking that frown personally, you realize, well, this person's having a really bad day. I'm going to heal them. Smile, right? Send them a smile. You know that anytime you spread good energy to someone, they feel it because you feel it when someone spreads you good energy, you know? And anytime we focus on spreading good energy and spreading that joy, that's when we know everything's going to work out for us because we just feel it. And the universe is validating that truly so many abundant things are headed your way, Aquarius, truly. But don't block off these ab- this abundant new beginnings. Don't block that off from any type of fear of fear you may have. That fear, that is just a program. It's not real. It's not. It's an illusion. Instead of giving into the fear, breathe in white light, breathe out darkness, say, I choose to let this go. And you put your attention and focus on what you desire most, what, what leaves you feeling good in that moment. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's your pet or a cup of tea. As long as you are focusing on what you enjoy and what makes you feel good, your energy will be brought to that. You'll be attracting in more good and more happiness. You see, we don't want to attract in fear. We don't want to attract in hate, criticism, judgment. And the more we prioritize coming from a place of love and joy, starting with ourselves, then we will have a life of abundance. But the more critical we are, particularly with ourselves, the more judgment we we proclaim, particularly to ourselves, then that's the standard we set for our life. That's what we will attract in. Those are the people we will meet. We'll always wonder, why am I not respected? Why am I not... um, somebody that someone comes to for advice. I I have good advice. Why does no one come to me for advice? Why does no one come to me with respect? Why does it feel like I'm always trying to win someone over? That is because of the way you speak to yourself, beautiful soul. If you change that, oh my gosh, your life changes forever. You prioritize your self-love and your, 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 purpose here, your path here, your path and your purpose is laid out when you start to invoke feelings of self-love and self-care because criticism and judgment cannot lead us to our path of purpose. Trying to figure out what that is will never lead you there. You're you're guided into it when your heart is open. Your heart's only open when you practice self-love and self-care and you love yourself, whatever that may be for you, but that must come first. And it starts with the inner dialect. It starts with our inner our inner chatter and know that whatever position you're in right now and whatever opportunities the universe is aligning you with right now, it is because you deserve it. It is because you have put in the experience. It is because you are ready. You have been getting ready to be ready to, for this moment right here and you're ready for it. And yes, there's going to be fear. Yes, there's going to be uncertainty. It comes with the territory, but you know what? You know what's again, when you reach for that joy and you reach for what you are going to achieve from this new opportunity and from this new beginning, instead of being in your head, be in your heart, reach for that emotion, reach for the good feeling around it, reach for the 
the service to others. Reach for the love you're going to be able to provide. Reach for the help. Reach for the joy. You reach for these emotions and they will be there for you. And they then will mirror back how you feel and you will raise your vibration and you will attract an even more abundance for yourself. It will be a snowball effect of happiness and abundance instead of a snowball effect of anxiety and fear. So choose light every single time. It is your natural way of being. Choose your natural way of being and it will choose you back. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Aquarius. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.